I always thought that these sound tube delete kits were a bit silly. I mean, why would anybody want to delete the sound tube from their ND? It weighs very little, so it's not much of a weight reduction, and the sound is not artificial, it's just a plastic tube that connects the intake to the cabin to bring in some induction noise. But then I discovered through reading various opinions online from folks who have installed this kit that it does reduce the harsh, gritty engine noise that you hear in the cabin and allows you to hear more of the car's exhaust. So that got me curious. So I decided to purchase a sound tube delete kit from Virus Engineering. So today I want to show you guys how to install that. We're going to start with that really easy, simple process. And then we are actually going to test it to see what difference it makes using a decibel meter. So let's go ahead and get started with the installation process. So to install the Virus Sound Tube Delete, which replaces this entire plastic tube there, we need to first remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding the sound tube on. We then also need to remove this hose here just from the sound tube. It's going to plug into the Virus component. We then need to take pliers and remove this hose clamp so that way we can pull the plastic sound tube out of the intake tube and then pop it off of this piece here on the strut tire brace. Once that's all done, we can pull the entire assembly straight back to remove it from the firewall. Now we can take the sound tube delete kit. We're going to install it right here in the intake tube. And then it also comes with a rubber grommet. This is going to go right down here in the firewall to seal it up from the engine bay. All right, and guys, that is all there is to it. You can see the engine bay is so much cleaner than it was before. Not having that sound tube in there really does clean up the engine bay nicely. Here's a detailed shot of what it looks like and that grommet down there in the firewall. So now it's time to start the car and test it out. sound tube delete did it actually make a difference sort of objectively when I look at the data from the decibel meter I can't really tell a difference between the sound tube and the sound tube delete the app that I used measured the overall sound level in decibels and then it also broke that sound level down into each of the frequency components from the low to the high range I use the decibel Z scale because it's not biased towards any particular frequency like the A and the C weightings are so it responds evenly to low, medium, and high frequency sounds. So even if we may not be able to perceive it with our ears, if there is a difference, the app should theoretically pick it up. And there really wasn't much of a difference. There were slight variations in the graph and maybe a difference of two or three decibels at certain times during the test, but that could be chalked up to variations during testing conditions, such as more birds or people outside, cars driving by, that sort of thing can all throw those readings off. So I did not see any significant differences, which did really surprise me. Subjectively, however, I feel like there was less valve train noise and other engine sound after installing the sound tube delete kit. I was able to hear more of the exhaust sound. So the engine did sound a little bit smoother to me in that sense. But what really surprised me was that the induction noise 
didn't really go away. When you stack the throttle in these cars, you can hear that throttle body open up and you can hear that intake noise. And that was still there after installing the sound tube delete, which I'm really happy with because I do enjoy that component of driving the car. Overall, there was a little bit of a difference. It definitely was not a night and day difference, not as drastic as I was expecting or hoping for. So I guess it's up for you to decide if the $30, $40 this kit costs is worth it to you. So guys, I really wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, please leave your questions and comments down in the comments section below. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.